Hi guys, so in the second half of this makeup recording, I'm going to run quickly through all of the information that is in that week one handout that I showed you. Um, a really critical step will be to go and get that handout, print it out for yourself and have a read through all of the detail. Uh, 15 minutes is not enough for me to get through all of the things that you should know for this subject. You will need to do that reading this week. Okay. So let's talk first about how you get help at QUT. Uh, if you've watched the first half of this recording, you've already seen a little bit about how Blackboard works and where you can get some FAQ information or frequently asked questions information. Uh, certainly to contact me, I'm at pyb000 at qut.edu.au. Um, just they look like O's there, they are zeros. In that email address, you can actually use that to contact myself and also our two tutors. Um, so that's my online contact or my email contact. I also have face-to-face -face and live online consultations. And the, all the details are in the week one document. Um, just to make it easy for you, my week, sorry, from week one, my uh, consultations that are going to run face-to-face -face will be in my office. That's in O Block, B Wing, room 522. And whatever the first number is in a room, that actually tells you the level of the building that you should go to. So you go to O Block, B Wing, you head down to level 5, uh, because you'll probably enter the building from level 6 if you're coming from the ring road. And I'm in room 522. There is a reception area as well, and you can check in with the reception ladies to catch me. My online consultations will be via Blackboard Collaborate. I will have sh I've already shown you how to get in there. That's 11.30 to 2, or sorry, till noon, sorry, on Mondays. And that's via Blackboard. So check out the first recording if you don't know how to get to, into Blackboard. You'll also have your tutors during tutorial time and you can contact them at any time on pyb000 at qutedu.au. Um, Emma and Stacey are our fantastic tutors. They both come from master's backgrounds, so they are working towards specialties or endorsed areas, and they will be your tutors uh, in this unit. Your classmates are also a really big um, resource for you. I'd definitely start some study groups early, you know, test out some coffee shops, get to know a few people. Even if you're introverted, brace yourself for it, you know, just expand your horizons a little bit, push yourself a little bit. You'll be asking clients to do the same thing if you're ever in client-based work. So, uh, you know, test out all of those strategies for getting to talk to people nice and early with your classmates. It's a great idea to write practice questions for any subjects that do have exams, those kinds of things. Um, talk to your peer mentors as well if you would like any other ideas about getting study groups running or if you want to advertise for a study group for a particular subject, they can help you out too. Blackboard we've run through, so I won't do it here, but it does have all of the vital information. Please make sure that you're also getting emails from us because if you're not getting those emails, you're missing important information. The student desk, uh, and there is a typo here, uh, it's level 6 of O Block B Wing. These guys do most of your administrative processes like extensions, helping you with enrolment and admissions. Uh, they're one level up from most psychology staff in the same building and there is another um, little reception desk there that you can go to and talk to anyone. Uh, generally their hours are 8 to 4.30 and that's the same for our psych reception as well. Okay, so that's getting help. Let's talk about the assessment. There's three pieces of assessment. Uh, the very first one is a, oh, pardon me, I'll just go back down to that one. I'll drag it down and we'll have a look at it. The very first piece of assessment is a reflection. It's uh, three reflections about your own professional development, weighted at 30%. It's due in week five, the exact due date, I believe it's the Monday, is in Blackboard. Um, the support comes from lectures and tutorials and so in week three in the lecture I'll be running through writing a reflection with you and also in the tutorial they'll be working more on hopefully a draft that you bring in. If you're following along in Blackboard with the task you'll have a draft all ready to go for that class. The second piece of assessment is a multimedia presentation. Um, groups of approximately four to five students. The presentation time is quite strict at 10 minutes per group. There is a written summary produced by each individual and um, the group presentation. So all of that documentation should be handed in to your tutor on the day. 
Uh, half of the marks go towards the group performance overall and then you get another 20% weighted on what you've handed in as a written summary and also your verbal or spoken performance in the presentation. Please have a look at the assessment uh, section of Blackboard because it's got way more information about how to complete that assignment. The final assessment is a little bit different. It's a tutorial workbook. So in four classes or four tutorials, you will get applied problems. The example I gave in the lecture was, we might describe a fictional town to you and say, here's some health statistics, it's getting worse, you need to come up with a public health campaign that embraces a couple of models from psychology. Um, there are three of the classes run face to face and one runs online. You need to download the week one information, that first lecture handout so that you can see when these classes are on. You submit the best three out of that four and we only mark three. So you do get a practice one. Uh, your tutor will help you guide, guide you through the activities. So it's really important that you get to those classes. We won't be handing out information to people outside of the classes. So if you are ill or you have any kind of emergency happen, it's very important you have documentation and you apply for a deferral like a normal exam. We treat it like an exam in that respect, um, that if you're not there, we will not be providing the information to you um, without documentation. Okay. How to submit assessment. It's really important that you know this. Many of your subjects will run you through this this week. There's two methods. You need to upload via a link on the assessment page of Blackboard. I've shown you that just um, in the last recording. And you also need to submit in hard copy to Assignment Minder. At Kelvin Grove, this is located in the library and their website, which explains the process for submission, is www.am.qt.edu.au and you will need a folder um, to put your assignment in. They have a couple of different requirements. You need to print out a submission sheet, go to the website and check out all the information there. So normally you use both of these methods, not one or the other, both, to submit your assessments. That's true for the reflections and for the workshop. The only exception is the multimedia presentation because all of that documentation does go to your tutor on the day of your presentation. You can get more information about your assessment on the assessment page of Blackboard. Okay, so that's a couple of the things um, completed that I wanted to talk about in this recording. If I'm going too fast at any time, remember that you can pause the recording and um, you know take any notes that you need to. I've got a 15 minute time limit on these recordings, so I'm going a little bit faster than I normally would. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the unit structure. So by now you've hopefully got the idea that this subject is really about the world of work, um, exploring your own motivations for coming to psychology and connecting theory to application. So it is a little bit different in that we're not trying to cover masses and masses of content and memorize lots of information. Instead, we're actually trying to work out how we might use the information we gain from other classes. The unit structure then does take on a slightly different shape. Many of your lectures will be guest speakers and it's a chance to hear about their careers or from the horse's mouth, I guess. Um, these guest speakers will give you advice about how to um, go through your studies and what to plan for in your career if you would like a job that's similar to theirs. They'll also be providing you with some theory and some uh, more academic content and telling you how they apply that in the workplace. The tutorial classes will be mostly about interaction and getting help with assessment. They do allow you to meet other students and we have quite a few tutorials or tutorial activities before the group assignment to allow you to get to know lots of other people in your tutorials. I'd encourage you to float around as much as you can in the first two weeks of tutorials so that you meet lots of people and you know who you want to work with. Um, there will be a little bit of discussion as well. I realise the lectures do become a little bit of a just one way information transfer. So the tutorials are further uh, opportunities to engage in discussion if you don't get to share your ideas in lectures. And I guess the final thing is most of my lectures will be to give you the big picture, to prepare you for tutorial activities so that I can catch up with you as a larger class. I can get group feedback from you and I can also give you group feedback about assessment and tell you where people were going well, where they weren't going so well on different pieces of assessment. Um, and I guess the lectures, another thing to note is that they are online and face to face. 
some weeks we will only be operating in the online environment so again download that week one document go to the page that has the semester planner and has all of the classes described and you'll see which ones are going to be hosted online um, I can tell you just for your own notes they're going to be week 9 to week 12 so you won't be in a lecture theatre you'll just be working online during those weeks your tutorials will run quite normally in their face-to-face -face format for every week except for week 9 so in week 10 11 and 12 you won't have lectures but you will have face-to-face -face tutorials okay my expectations I ran through these in the lecture and I invited people to add anything to our FAQ wiki about your expectations for us my expectations are generally that you turn up you participate you show respect you try to work things out for yourself first so you look through the information that's available to you online before asking a question and that you're responsible um, in your own study if you get in trouble my expectation is that you speak up and you let us know we can help you so much more if you tell us ahead of time uh, it's much harder if you leave it to the last minute or you leave it to the end of semester to say that you were struggling okay so that's just about all that I covered in that last part of the lecture I did have some extra study tips I won't read through them all now if you are really interested you can pause the recording now and have a read through And the last thing that I guess I reminded people was that next week is our professional pathways lecture so I'll be talking about registration there's quite a few tasks for you to complete that are already listed up on blackboard so please make sure that you visit that blackboard site and get through those activities tutorials start next week so you should really know which room you're going to and the time please make note of that um, you will get to meet your tutor there please make note of their name it's really embarrassing when people who want to be in psychology don't know the name of someone they've been working with for eight or nine weeks um, make sure you are taking an interest in at least getting their name um, and apart from that wishing you well I hope the first week is going well for you I'm sorry that we couldn't have the full recording but I do feel apart from some really great discussion from uh, fellow students I have covered the content reasonably well in these recordings for you. Okay, take care.